Let's shift gears and dive into the buzz surrounding VinFast's recent debut on the Nasdaq Q. Picture this, cruising through town all week without a single pit stop for gasoline. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, that dream is edging closer to reality by the day. Imagine the roar of engines replaced by the gentle hum of innovation. Cars powered by water. Yes, you heard that right. One of the world's most beloved car brands has just unleashed a game-changing breakthrough. But hold on to your seats. What's the secret behind this revolutionary leap in automotive technology? Which visionary brand is behind this marvel? Experts are buzzing about how this innovation could turn the entire auto industry on its head in ways we never thought possible. Have you ever envisioned zipping around town, knowing you'd never have to stress about filling up your tank or owning a car with fuel that seems to last forever? Well, brace yourself, because that fantasy is now a tangible, jaw-dropping reality. Cars are not just tools anymore. They're part of our global fabric, from sleek sports cars to rugged SUVs. They've evolved significantly since the days of Carl Benz's three-wheeled motor wagon back in 1886, a mechanical marvel that set the wheels in motion for what was to come. Fast forward to Gottlieb Daimler's pioneering transmission in 1885 capable of a blistering 10 miles per hour, and then to Henry Ford's game-changing Model T. These milestones in automotive history paved the road for what we know today as modern transportation. Now, imagine a future where our cars are powered not by fossil fuels, but by the very essence of life itself, water. Join us as we explore how this breakthrough will revolutionize not just our daily commutes, but the very foundation of how we think about mobility and sustainability. This is more than innovation. This is a glimpse into the future of driving. Ford was also the first to design a typical assembly line for mass production of cars. It goes without saying that cars have evolved massively since then. The cars we have today are a huge upgrade from what we used to have in the early 1900s. In recent years, we've seen more and more sophisticated technology being applied to cars. Things like autonomous driving, electric vehicles, the internet, and other impressive innovations are all available in cars today. However, amidst all of these fantastic innovations in the auto world, there's still one major pressing issue with cars, fuel. You'd no doubt agree that one of the major problems with cars worldwide is the gasoline which they drive on. Cars have been the greatest consumers of gasoline, a byproduct of crude oil. In fact, in many nations today, petrol or gasoline has been the major contributor to the gross domestic product, all thanks to the countless cars on the roads. Due to the high demand, the price of this product has always been on the high side. And now, with the current inflation facing many parts of the world, gas prices have skyrocketed to all-time highs. This has greatly affected car owners, forcing many to turn to electric vehicles. The problem with these, however, is their unaffordability for the common masses and high maintenance cost. Another issue that has trailed modern day vehicles is the carbon emission that comes with fuel consumption. For your car to start and run, the fuel has to burn. When the spark plugs produce the fire for ignition, fuel is mixed with oxygen in a predetermined ratio, and then combustion takes place in the combustion chamber. However, during this process, some hydrocarbons will be left as byproducts. These unburned hydrocarbons are sent out through the exhaust pipes. Usually for a healthy working engine, carbon monoxide and water would be released from the exhaust pipes. The problem with carbon monoxide is that it is a heavy pollutant. In fact, this poisonous gas is blamed for the current accelerated effect of global warming and climate change. In addition, it makes the air unsafe for humans, as it can cause certain things like dizziness, blood and organ poisoning fatigue, and other complications. And so, it has always been a 21 cent century need to find a way to curb the pollution problem associated with cars. The ideal solution was to find an alternative fuel source, one that would produce byproducts that are harmless to the environment. The most eco-friendly substance or byproduct in this case is water. And so, the concept of cars running on water was born. This long dream of the car industry has faced many challenges and obstacles. However, now, the dream has finally come to realization, as cars powered by water engines are now a thing in the auto industry. 
Unsurprisingly, this phenomenal innovation is coming from no other brand than Toyota. One major advantage of Toyota's new water engines is that the company actually has appropriate funding, exposure, and leverage to truly perfect this concept. So far, the engine remains the most unique water engine car ever produced. If you're wondering how the engine of this vehicle works, it's quite similar to the hydrogen combustion engine found in some other popular Toyota vehicles like the Toyota Corolla H2. However, this time, instead of using processed hydrogen for fuel, the engine actually collects water and then separates the hydrogen from the oxygen. This separated hydrogen is then used as fuel to power the car. And so, you could say that this new water engine is just the next level evolution of the hydrogen combustion engine. Hydrogen combustion engines are another new concept in the car industry. These kinds of cars use a three-cylinder turbo engine like those found in gasoline cars. Except that this time, the engine parts and accessories are modified to take in hydrogen as fuel. First, the fuel tanks for these vehicles are twice as thick as regular fuel tanks. This is because hydrogen is a very flammable gas. Without this precautionary measure, it would be risky to run a car powered by hydrogen. Aside from the fuel tank, Toyota also ensures that cars with hydrogen combustion engines get hardened valve fuel injectors, valve seats, and other connecting parts. Also, since it's hydrogen we're dealing with here, these parts are modified to handle gas, not liquid. Take the Toyota Yaris GRH2, for instance. It only takes a minute and a half to fill up an empty tank. That's more than you can say for a modern-day gasoline-powered car. Although hydrogen combustion engines in cars are quite phenomenal, this new innovation from Toyota has changed the game entirely. You see, this newly invented water-powered car can bring many improvements to the table. First, it's the water it runs with. You don't need to go to a station to get pure hydrogen, which is quite expensive, to power your tank. All you have to do is get some purified water and top up your car tank until it is full. Now, you would agree that water is about the cheapest and most readily available thing on the planet. You can buy distilled water from any supermarket or even use the water from your home to fill up your car. This is the greatest advantage of this water engine and it sets it apart from even the hydrogen combustion engine. Hydrogen combustion engines aren't popular with car owners because hydrogen is expensive to acquire in its pure form. Storing this gas alone in large quantities is a problem and a high risk too. Establishments that sell it to car owners would always inflate the prices to make up for manufacturing and storage expenses. So, you see, at the end of the day, maintaining a hydrogen car is more expensive compared to electric cars or regular gasoline cars. But this new Toyota vehicle engine uses the process of electrolysis to separate the water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. There are electrodes inside the tank that emit high voltages to facilitate this process. Another bonus with this technology is the simple facilities and components it uses. Remember, cars that run on hydrogen need proper insulation in their tanks and other connecting components to avoid fire outbreaks. Well, in this case, since the hydrogen itself is actually produced from the water stored inside the tank, there's no need for too much insulation in the tank itself. These cars can even use a plastic tank without any problem. Storing water requires little or no effort, whereas storing hydrogen requires diverse measures. Hydrogen is only flammable when it is alone in its uncombined state. Plus, it can easily escape. This is why tanks of hydrogen-powered cars are always reinforced and monitored properly. But none of this is necessary for water tanks. As the produced hydrogen leaves the tank, it heads over to the engine where combustion takes place. For this part of the process, however, certain adaptations have to be made. And so, the fuel injectors, valves, cylinder heads, and pistons are all adapted to contain hydrogen. However, overall, the water-powered engine is a lot safer than its hydrogen counterpart. This is because no combustible fuel is constantly being stored inside the car at any point in time. Hydrogen is only produced when the car is ignited, so there's little or no chance your car will go up in flames.